Media. I am your hostess, The Cine Geek, and today I'm going to talk about how Marty McFly met Doc Brown, and I have a clip below where um, John Mulvaney is doing stand-up, and he's kind of making fun of it, but uh, Bob Gale actually did address this a number of years ago. I found the answer back in, I feel like, 2015, but it might have been earlier or later. I don't know numbers. <laughs> and uh, he did write about it in the uh, comic book he released with IDW, and because Bob Gale is one of the creators, along with Bob Zemeckis, it is considered canon. So Doc and Marty met October 2nd, 1982, when Marty was 14 years old, and he broke into uh, Doc's lab slash garage <laughs> and he was trying to steal this like um thing for his guitar and needles kind of put him up to it and doc had set up some riddles and booby traps uh, to prevent people from breaking into his lab but also kind of testing someone so if anyone was smart enough to get through uh, he would hire them and that's what he did he hired marty as his lab assistant and so anyway, that's how they met and started working together. That's why Marty was there that faithful day, October 25th, 1984, when Einstein became the world's first time traveler and ended up going on a time traveling journey of his own. Um, and that, well, he was there recording because he worked with Doc on his experiments. And they actually kind of, their families kind of go back a little bit further. We see in uh, the fourth and fifth issues of the comic book, uh, when Uncle Jailbird Joey is released from prison, we find out he was actually in prison for 14 years, um, beginning when he was, I think he had just turned 18, maybe. And uh, he was he went to jail for robbing one Doc Brown's mom. And he was actually working with Beth Tannen and his gang of uh, hooligans, really. Just gang of hooligans. And that explains, well, oh, hang on, I'll get to that in a second. So basically what happened, Biff was working with Joey Baines and uh, his gang, and they were getting up to no good, making trouble like they did in their old days. And they were kind of using Joey because he was younger, and he ended up often getting them out of jail or taking the blame for things like with this particular um, crime they committed. Uh, because he was underage, but that last one, he was 18, not underage, and he ended up serving quite a bit of time, which honestly doesn't make sense because they never found that he took anything. Uh, but what meant, went missing was $85,000, which in, uh, this was 1972. So in 1986 money, that is $223,000, and in today's money, that's over $515,000. So about a cool half mil. Um... And seeing Doc in the 70s was probably the greatest thing the world has ever given me. Because <laughs> he was an interesting fella. Um, so anyway, he goes to jail. He finally gets out in 1986. And Doc, well, not Doc, Marty ends up going back in time after Doc gives him a cryptic message to, you know, be weary of him. And he finds out why Uncle Joey went to prison and he's a little surprised that it has to do with Doc and that their families kind of go back further than he realized. <laughs> and it, it gets a little funny because that $85,000, as it turns out, was not stolen by his Uncle Joey, but in fact was stolen by Doc himself and he used it to finance his time traveling because once again, Doc is a shady, shady criminal. Doc, what are you doing, my man? It's just so funny. Um, so we also learn in this that, um, so I said that Uncle Joey was working with Biff and he went to prison and, because he didn't rat them out. So that's why Biff started working for the McFlies so he could stay near um, the Baines. And so when Joey got out of prison, he would have easy access to him so they could find the 85000 grand, not realizing that Doc was the one who stole it from the beginning. So really, this dude spent 14 years in jail for nothing, and it doesn't make sense. What is the legal system like in Hill Valley? I now don't question what it was in 2015 because it was obviously already crap in 1972. Anyway, any comments, questions, concerns, feel free to leave them below. I have so so many Back to the Future theories, so please feel free to check them out. We need a Moon Knight movie and have a fantastic day.